A decade ago, 660 were a covers band, playing 21st and bars, and I was a music writer, which meant I was one of the first people in New Zealand to say that 660 were shit. Critics like me hated them. We thought they were bland, that the mix of funk and soul and reggae that they played was already kind of done. Flash forward 10 years, and both the music magazines I used to write for are long dead, but 660 are very much alive. They just announced a show at Western Springs. It's New Zealand's biggest venue. No New Zealand artist would ever have the audacity to think that they could fill it, and they've already nearly sold it out. I wanted to know how they did it, so I got them to come down to Western Springs to look out at this huge space that they were going to try and fill and explain it. We also practically kind of ran out of places uh, to play, you know, uh, rather than doing, you know, two nights at somewhere or whatever, be able to do one big night just made a whole lot more sense and was way more fun. This is obviously the biggest New Zealand music story of the year, yet it's received hardly any coverage. But while media fuckwits like me ignore them, their fans adore them. The media have often been real dicks to you. When I say the media, I'm talking about myself principally. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's do it. We have a people who love us and the people who can't stop talking shit about us and it just makes us bigger. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't really care. They were one of the first bands to really understand the power of social media. They started their own label, organized their own tours, bypassed the industry. We think about it as a high, high-level performing business. That's how we want it to be. And we've really united on just the, an idea of moving forward and, have, and progressing. And, and that, that meant that we had to adapt to make sure this music affects as many people as possible. Hearing you talk, it sounds like you're talking about a startup as much as a band. Do you think that's a fair comparison? Any artist is looking at their last painting and trying to find why they could be better. And I think everyone really does it. Artists don't like to admit it because it's this kind of, I'm just a creative and I'm a genius and uh, it's, just, <laughs> it's just complete bullshit. <laughs> New Zealanders don't talk like that. Mostly we spend a lot of time worrying about what people think. 660 are different. And despite going where no local artist has gone before, they're already looking for the next thing. Uh, we played with Ed Sheeran recently and he played to three times the amount of people in New Zealand than us in this Western Spring show. And it's something that we've been thinking about. It's like this, some people might think be the pinnacle of our of our career, but we're trying to look at it as the start of something. Special, special.